Today we're learning how to crochet the spike stitch. To begin, you need to crochet in multiples of 6 plus 1. Let's move on to row 1, shall we? To begin, chain 1. Then in that second chain from your hook, crochet one single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull back through that chain stitch. You should have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect! Now you want to crochet one more single crochet into that next stitch. So two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. You want to continue crocheting one single crochet in every chain stitch till you reach the end of the row. For row 2, chain 1. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. Now turn your work so you're crocheting in the opposite direction. Then crochet one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain 1. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Crochet one single crochet in the next stitch as well. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through that stitch, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Crochet one single crochet in every stitch till you reach the end of the row. For rows three, four, five and six, you'll need to repeat row two. Once you reach the last stitch of row six, you want to crochet one single crochet into that last stitch. I also changed colours on this last stitch, however changing colours is completely optional, however I do feel it helps to make this stitch colourful and special. Let's move on to row 7 now. To begin, chain 1, so yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook, then turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now crochet one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain 1. Then crochet one long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the sixth row. So you want to insert your hook underneath that stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull back through that stitch. You should now have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect! Now crochet one long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the fifth row. So you're going one row further down. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull back through. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect! Now crochet one long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the fourth row. So remember going one row further down. Insert your hook and then yarn over and pull back through underneath that stitch. You should now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Now you want to crochet another long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the third row. So going one row further down, insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect! Now you want to crochet one last long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the second row. So remember going one row further down. So you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through. Two loops left on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. So continue repeating the pattern of one single crochet in the next stitch. Then you want to crochet one long single crochet in the next five stitches, one underneath the single crochet from the sixth row, then the fifth row, then the fourth, third and second, till you reach the end of this row. When you get to the end of row seven, you want to crochet one single crochet in the last stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through that stitch. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. For rows 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, you'll need to repeat row 2. Once you reach the end of row 12, crochet one single crochet in the last stitch. Once again, I changed colours on this last stitch, but it is completely optional. Now 
Now let's move on to row 13. To begin, chain one. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. So turn your work so you're crocheting in the opposite direction. Then you're going to crochet one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one. So yarn over and pull through both of those loops on your hook. Perfect. Now you want to crochet one long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the 12th row. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull back through. You should have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect. Then you want to crochet one long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the 11th row. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Then crochet another long single crochet in the next stitch, but this time under the single crochet from the 10th row. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, you should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Then crochet one long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the ninth row. So remember going one row further down. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through. Two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Then crochet one last long single crochet in the next stitch under the single crochet from the 8th row. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull back through underneath that stitch. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Continue repeating the pattern of one single crochet in the next stitch, then crocheting one long single crochet underneath the single crochet from the 12th row, then the 11th, then the 10th, then the 9th, and the 8th, till you reach the end of this row. Once you get to the end of row 13, crochet one single crochet in the last stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull back through that stitch. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Continue repeating rows 8 to 13 till you reach your desired length. So this is how it looks after you've repeated rows 8 to 13 multiple times. As you can see, the spike stitch creates a very unique and colourful design, making it the perfect stitch to use for blankets, scarves and all sorts of projects. Another perk about this stitch is that it happens to be reversible, making it equally beautiful on either side. Be sure to check out my blog hopefulhoney.com for lots of free crochet patterns if you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs it up, share and subscribe.